the home of Liverpool Football Club. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is alongside me. Premier League football is coming right up for you. It's Liverpool and they take on Burnley. Yeah, thanks Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. This is the Liverpool side. In goal is Alisson. Artur starts alongside Fabian. They'll be in the middle of midfield. And the last, he's through. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Must take the lead here. Very good stop here. Swung in from the corner. Well, the play is broken down now. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Well, he's won it back. That's a really good tackle. The team that's hosting the match today have uh, quite an incentive to go for the victory. And it's quite possible that if they do win this match here and the results elsewhere work out as they would want them to be, they could end the day at the top of the table. Well, they've been pretty good, haven't they? More than pretty good, really. Very consistent. He could be the star turn for Liverpool today. Must be loving the season so far. He's got 15, top scorer. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Pulls it back now. Oh, well, he couldn't make the most of that chance. It's a goal kick. Now Fabian. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Into the attacking third. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. The break is definitely on. Got to finish here. Push back out into play. He's blocked the shot well. He's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Just read the... Now, for the lead! Liverpool have looked so good, and they've crowned that superiority with a goal. Well, the opposition have just been unable to deal with his high press. It is certainly the kind of match that we thought we were coming here to see with the better team playing the better football. Yeah, and they've handled that expectation, haven't they, in terms of being strong favourites, so fair play to them for that. So Liverpool have that lead, as you would expect. Trying to spot a potential ball to open them up, but they're keeping the ball well. Liverpool take over possession again. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Frustrating for them, really. That was the opportunity to play on the break, but it's broken down. Jack Grealish. This does look promising. Liverpool give it away. Salah! Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. There's been a goal at St James's Park, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Newcastle United. 
30 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks, up. Wonderful chance! Decent opportunity there, but it was easy in the end for the goalkeeper. Well, I don't know what was wrong there, whether he took his eye off the ball. He certainly didn't connect with it how he should have. Well, we had to cut short Alan McAnally. That takes a bit of doing, I can tell you. But it was a Newcastle United goal he was trying to tell us about. The score is now 1-1. Really in the clear now, in on goal. Very close in, Alan, but not very close to scoring. Yeah, a simple save in the end, and it should have been anything but. He should have been picking it out of the net, the keeper. Liverpool trailing uh, on the possession side of things. But what you would say about this team is the way that they've used the possession so ruthlessly at times. It's been a joy to watch textbook stuff from them. It's good play to uh, get a foot in and intercept. Well, let's hear from Alan McAnally about a goal in that Wolverhampton Wanderers game. It's a second goal for Manchester City. Chippy! A well saved! And here comes the corner. Oh, that's good defending. So easy in possession. That's a corner now for Liverpool. In goes the corner. Apologies to Alan for breaking into his report. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game. And they are winning by two goals to nil. Good interception. Well, it is Liverpool's match at this point, but there's a lot more of it still to go, and they'll be wondering whether they're good enough to see this through. Plenty of time left, all of the second half, of course. The crowd uh, may be expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Got to be. That's an excellent stop from the keeper. We all thought that was in, didn't we? Well, listen to that roar from the crowd. I mean, it's only a corner, but it's come after a really impressive period of play. They've put the opposition right under the cosh here. Just boot. Really in the clear now. He's in now. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. So here we go with the second half. Mohamed Salah. That's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Now he wants to take them on. It's a quick break. Going to try his luck. And up goes the chip over the goalkeeper. And under the bar, brilliant chip goal. Keeper thought he'd come out, right place at right time to make the save, had no chance. He didn't, and he wasn't all that far off his line, but he was far enough off for the goal scorer to take advantage. Wonderful take. Well, I think this manager was pessimistic coming into this game, and uh, those fears are being realised now. His team trailing by uh, a good margin. Restarting at 2-0. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Look out for this one on EA TV. Not a very... This is how they love to play on the break. Surely he must score! And there it is, the goal! Patrick, goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. Well, there is a saying that uh, things come in threes. They've come in threes for him, a hat-trick. Not just three goals, but he's played really well. His overall game has been top class today.
Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because uh, it's men against boys. He needs to give them a lift, a substitution, I would imagine. Well, here we go again, and they can't wait to get the ball back from the kickoff and try and get another one. So, what about Burnley's next game? They're playing Leicester City in their next. Oh, he's through. So close to putting the cherry on the icing on the cake. Oh, I can't believe he's missed it. Missed the target. Missed a wonderful opportunity there. Mohamed Salah. Well, he's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. Great challenge by a player who's been doing that all game. Nothing wrong with that tackle. In fact, it was a terrific effort. Can he set himself now? Not much in that. It was a whisker wide of the post. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Now they've got the ball, and they've got him behind here. It was a promising situation, they could have made more of that. Wonderful chance! Oh, a miss. In the Newcastle United game, we're hearing there's been a goal, and Alan McAnally can tell us all about it. It's a second goal for Chelsea. 61 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Read the play well. Trying to stretch the opposition, using the wider areas here. Well, this guy looks like he's the one the opposition having the most problems with. Well, he's proved so elusive around that penalty area. They can't get to grips with him, and as a result, he's got himself a few goals. Well, they couldn't keep possession. They've given it away. And it's out of play. Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. Opportunity now! Easy for the goalkeeper when really there was every chance of him being totally beaten then and he's got the ball yeah he was exposed there and uh, he must have thought he was going to get beaten but well, lovely incisive pass oh it's an offside decision well the players can't believe it and neither can the crowd but it's the right decision at Wolves there is news of a goal from Alan McAnally it's a third goal for Manchester City 70 minutes played 3-0 cheers Alan could take them on here real opening now well that should be the game you could call it another insurance goal surely they can't throw it away here for Liverpool it is looking pretty much now that the victory is assured oh it's an enviable situation for them should be home and hosed well it's great when a plan comes together and the manager Doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Well, it's not easy to find the spirit here that they're going to need in these circumstances as they kick off again. Nothing so far in this game to surprise us. Perhaps only the, the margin that they lead by.
Yeah, it's not always easy coming into a game and everyone's expecting you to get a hat full, but they've kept their focus this side and uh, taken the chances nicely when they've dropped up. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Good vision. Very good stop here. In goes the corner. It's a corner that's been wasted, really. Stopped at the near post. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Made a quick interception. It was a chance maybe to hit the target. He certainly went for strength. Nothing wrong with the connection either. Counting down in the last ten minutes here, nine to go. Good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. He will be furious with himself for such a poor pass. Christensen. Now Tongi Dombele. Makes a challenge here. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition. This could be a chance. Well, it's nowhere near in the end, and he was right in at the goalkeeper. Yes, one thing missing, but uh, missed by that distance. Bit embarrassing for the lad. Four more minutes. This could be promising. Now Tongi Dombele. Very good tackle. Not his first today either. Tongi Dombele. Here's Fabian. Oh, chance! Oh, it's the post! Being closed down here. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. Can really get at the opposition here. And he bangs it away. And the pass not completed, really. Able to make the interception. By the whistle. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. No wonder he's looking pleased. He could do no wrong out there.